Hey, you know, there's a lot of backlash from men around women with their OnlyFans and selling their photos and videos and being teases online and making a fortune. But when I put myself in their shoes and imagine if I had my body and I could sell pictures of my phallus, my body, of me dancing naked or doing something with some toys and it didn't bring shame to me or my family, at least in my own head, it didn't matter to me, I would do it. So in this time of uncertainty and, and craziness in the world, I think anyone who can find a way to make a living and be able to go enjoy a surf or a dance or a nice meal, you know, more props to you. It doesn't, we don't know what's gonna happen in the next day, so we might as well just do what works. And it's not, <coughs> it doesn't have to be shameful or like some kind of bad thing for, <coughs> for um, society, like who knows? I think with that said, it makes me wanna be able to put a phallus in my mouth and suck on it, maybe someone else's, and make money. But it's scary to me to do that. And I think the spiritual teachings tell us we need to find a way to fit into society, to connect our, our talents, who we are in the context of the world. So what if giving doing uh, homoerotic type things is what's, I could be, I could be sitting on a pot of gold and I'm not even utilizing it. I'm just getting older. It's the time is now. The time is now. <sighs> so that's why I joined Snapchat to see if I could, and why I created a toe account and it, it feels really cringe to me to do it. In my body, I can feel it. And as I process it, I share with you because there's a side of me that believes, I don't even know if I believe it, I just feel it, which could be unconscious. I feel there must be a way Oh, that's what the spiritual tantric people do. They bridge this kind of sexual energy with something spiritual and then it it's kind of a bridge. It's not full on, you know, lower energy and ego. It's just like there is that, but then there's this extra thing. So how do you give a awaken bj as a man and it's and treat it as a spiritual practice hmm i don't know how would we do that i'm not even attracted to men in that way but if i tap into my feminine side and learn to receive, maybe I could get into it. I mean, it's just a physical thing. It's, if there's no ego involved, it's not like I'm being made somebody's bitch. It's not ego. It's purely a giving and receiving. The ability to penetrate and the ability to take, to receive it can both be pleasurable. And this is what perhaps an awakened masculine needs to be able to take it in the receiving holes of their bodies. Oh. <sighs> Just a morning reflection as I feel a little bit reluctant to face the day. I want to have I think, I think if my investment portfolio was doing well, I wouldn't even be having these kind of thoughts. 
So I'm gonna share this and see what happens.